police say the suspect left the bank and immediately started running towards his car. It was located just a couple blocks down across from Providence Medford Medical Center and by Corona Avenue. Somebody that, that's desperate enough to go into a bank and try and rob it is desperate enough to do it again. A man is on the run after unsuccessfully robbing a Medford bank Tuesday morning. There are some robberies that occur where it's obvious where people brandish guns, yell, tell everybody to get down, maybe even shoot rounds. That's pretty uncommon, but no, this was not that. Lieutenant Mike Boudreau of the Medford Police Department says the suspect waited in line with other customers. After approaching the teller, he passed over a note explaining this was a bank robbery. Nobody really knew what was going on because this is one of those crimes that, I mean, it looks odd when you look at him, he's all garbed up, but other than that, it didn't look anything out of the ordinary. After the clerk questioned the note, Lieutenant Boudreaux says the suspect ran off without the money. He was seen sprinting towards his car a couple blocks down by Corona Avenue and Providence Medford Medical Center. He's believed to be driving a dark colored Chrysler 300. Our focus right now is believing that this could be a local suspect. I mean, just based on where the bank is located. It's the first bank robbery in Medford this year. Officers hope that someone will recognize the suspect. He's described as looking pretty young. He was wearing a gray oversized zip up hoodie, blue jeans, a red baseball cap and sunglasses. Having a vehicle and a suspect are two really good clues and we usually don't have that valuable information at the initial stages of a bank robbery. So we have that. We're hoping to capitalize on that. If you live or own a business in the area, police want you to check your surveillance footage. Police say although the man didn't leave with any cash, it is still classified as a robbery. If you have any information or tips, you're urged to contact Medford Police. Live in Medford, Amanda Rose, and.